Hey guys and welcome to Waste Center of Gaming and today we're going to be building a sleeper Volvo. Now this is actually the Volvo Turbo model so we do not need to add a turbo which is absolutely awesome. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be keeping the appearance of this car completely stock. So the wheels, the tyres, the tyres are just going to stay stock just because of that better drifting and we're just going to stick as much power as we can and turn this in to an absolute drifting machine and also remove that spoiler. Let's get right into it. So there we go, we have 456 brake horsepower. That is absolutely pretty good of a stock block engine. Let's hear what that sounds like when we do a burnout. That sounds pretty, pretty awesome. What we're gonna be doing, we're gonna jump into the airstrip now and let's see what this thing can do. So we're at the airstrip now, and what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing a speed run, and we're gonna be hitting it down. So here we, here we whoo, very close to that Pagani there. We're gonna be flying down here and seeing what top the speed we can get out of this Volvo. I'm already kind of loving it just because of how basic and stock and grandpa -y it look. I can see a, a turbo gauge there, which is absolutely awesome, telling us how pounds of boost we're running. But in um, cars like this, the old generation, they don't really tell you how much pound, they just say red, green, and amber, I believe. Yeah, and I think Saab's do it as well. So we hit over 140, which isn't too bad, especially when we haven't done any setup. Now, what I mean by any setup, I haven't done suspension, gearing, aero, nothing. All I've done is just increase the horsepower, as you saw in that little build, and that's it. It's already a rear wheel drive car from factory, so there's nothing we need to do there. The only aero I've really done is remove that rear wing, just because I just want to get it more stock and more sleep look. I could have put a different engine in this, a bigger engine. I could have done so much stuff with this. I could have made it four wheel drive, which probably wouldn't have been the best. But I didn't, we kept it with the stop block and just threw a of power in it. And it's a really, whoa, ooh, lost it there. Try and get it back round. But it's actually a really easy car to drift. Yes, it doesn't have much power to do entries like that I was trying to do there. I was just testing the car. But it, it's good, it's good. If you want to get into drifting, like the R31 that I originally did as a drifter, but it kind of turned into a drift track kind of car. That was easy to drift, but it had a bit more power. This is dirt cheap. If you've got the DLC, it's already free. And then it's like 40,000 for the upgrades that I did to this. And look at this, it's keeping it. Yes, I am bouncing off the limiter a bit too much. So that's just to keep the end out as much as I can. There we go. Because if, if I let the throttle off and go back in, let the throttle off go back in, it does go a bit wider. So that's just, just the way the car works that I found. But 40,000 and it's drifting like this, that's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, it spins out a couple of times, but when you can do that in this, you can just flick it into a nice big burnout. But other than that, it's really, really, really simple to drift. You can either throw it in with just like an add loads of throttle and get it to spin. Like that was an attempt at trying to do that, but I'm not too good at that drifting kind of style. But if you're good at that drifting kind of style, very easy to do because I was with a friend online with this and he had it, same setup as me, and he managed to do it. But I'm more of a hand, pulling a handbrake and getting the throttle right as trying to do it as you go around this barrel here. But other than that, it's very simple. Much, 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 much fun to do. Nice drift around there. Nice clipping it close to there. As I say, this is a cheap car. So if, you, if you've not got much money, you've just started the game, you've got all the DLCs, you're the VIP player, 
get this car, go online, just drift, and get your level up. Because drifting really takes up your level. 456 brake horsepower is absolutely amazing. I've been in Central Gaming. That's been my sleeper Volvo for drift. Please like, comment, and surely hit that subscribe button.